Well, hey everybody, this is Andrew Earthrise, and uh, I welcome you to another video on my channel. In the United States of America, Louisiana Creole culture is more akin to the festivities of Brazil, to the music, to the vibrance, to the community of somewhere like Puerto Rico, Cuba, you know, Colombia. Places where people come together and create this Creole culture. In those places, they don't call their culture Creole anymore. They call themselves with their nationality. Here in Louisiana, we've conserved the title Creole, bringing the Native American, bringing the African, bringing the European, whether it be French, Italian, Spanish, uh, it could be uh, Germans. Uh, France held on to Louisiana for uh, many, many years, and then it gave it to Spain. Spain held on to it many, for many, many years, and the Americans came by and they say, ooh, we'd like to buy up New Orleans. And from then, Louisiana becomes a territory of the United States. And the thing is, the Creoles, the Louisiana people, the people that lived in Louisiana, they're French at the time. And they're living in the same Louisiana Creole Catholic society, the same mixed society that they've been in, where people come together, they share their ideas, and they create something better. And they're, they're there, but the English and Anglo-American society is completely different. But as the Americans come in, they change ideas. They say, you can't, you can't be mixed. You can't have this prosperous society of people that is not based on race. It's based on merit. It's based on what you provide to the community. They said you can't do that anymore. Now, Louisiana Creoles at this point, they were very rich, very prosperous. They had a lot of money. They were creating a lot of music. They were creating a lot of art, a lot of culture. And, and it was not based on what your race was. It was based on what you did for the colony of Louisiana. And the Americans said, oh, that's strange. How can you have someone who is of color in power? That's not right. And the Creoles at the very beginning, they didn't care. They said, we are our own people. We have our own money. You Americans can stay over there and keep your Protestant American stuff on your side. And we can see this in New Orleans. We divided the city in two. We said this is the French side, the French Quarter, which is today the French Quarter that goes all a long way. It's far beyond the square that we call the French Quarter. And then the American Quarter, which is on the opposite side of the city. And uh, the neutral grounds, uh, today it's called Canal Street, divided the city be between the American Quarters and the French Quarters. The Creoles lived as they did, and they lived with uh, many times Europeans that come, came down and they would share the same European ideas because they were different. They were Creoles. These are Creoles, les Creoles. But then the Civil War happens and uh, basically halfway through the war in 1862, New Orleans gets invaded. Uh, the English people in the state have not taken full control, but as soon as New Orleans falls, the Creole capital has fallen and has gone to the Americans. And the Americans impose their ideas over the whole populace, the whole population. They say, what are these people doing? You Creoles, you can't be, you know, you're, you're white. Why are you hanging out with those blacks? And the thing is, and the different races that were there, they, they had the custom of being together, but this occupation in 1862 during the, war, the Civil War, it caused Creoles to be ashamed of being of color, and they had to choose which, which color they were. They had to say, oh, I'm this, I'm that. It started a divide in the community. And eventually, in 1890, this is 30 years after the Civil War, the state of Louisiana imposes segregation, and this segregation lasts for 58 years and it's because of a creole called homer plessy and basically creoles divide now it's by law that you have to separate people and this destroyed the louisiana creole community one that was together one that was like cuba one that was like puerto rico one that was like brazil became divided and eventually the white creoles were absorbed and the creoles of color was absorbed and uh, today, people don't understand what their history is on, of the, the Creoles in general. The people don't understand the history. They think like Americans today because they are English Americans in their mind. But to understand the Creole culture, it's to think outside of the Jim Crow era. It's to think of a time when you are coming together to bring the best qualities, to make the gumbo 
spicy to make it very rich because you want all the flavors in there and and unfortunately the scars of that 58 year period have harmed the community it's hurt it very very deeply i hope that one day the creoles will be able to resurface that we will be able to as louisianians as louisiana creoles that we'll be able to have our recognition here in this country and beyond so i thank you everybody for listening to my uh explanation of this film that i edited uh louisiana creole history how the how america erased louisiana creoles through racial division so i thank you everybody and i wish you a good day <laughs>